Well, this is a simple passive hydroponic system for you modern and smart people who do not have enough time watering your plants as it doesn't require. Yes, you heard it right. This is a self-watering hydroponic wick system where the water to the plant roots is supplied through a capillary action of wick. To know more about the process and method of building this system, click on the link in the description below. Also, at the end of this video, I have presented a chart of best plants to grow for this system. So guys, you can screenshot it or comment me your email address so that I can send you. As the system is simple and cannot be customized much, it has its own downsides. Firstly, the plant growth in this system is slower compared to other hydroponic systems. Secondly, the wicking action doesn't deliver a strong stream of nutrient solution to the growth medium. And lastly, not enough oxygen and water is supplied to the roots of the big plants. So large plants such as tomatoes that require more water and oxygen cannot be grown well in this system. Thereby, with all these disadvantages of wick system, the list of the best plants to grow becomes smaller. So guys, let me present you my top choices of plants for this system. If I am missing any of the other plants that grow well in this system, please comment below. So my first option is lettuce as it has small roots and requires sufficient water and less space. A number of lettuce can be grown in the grow tray just as in lettuce raft system where the roots are directly submerged in water. While in the system, two or more than two wicks are used for such display because they require sufficient water. Then my other choice is herbs, especially rosemary that does not require much water and nutrient solution to grow well and is one of the best plant to grow for this system. Also very less maintenance is required for herbs and most of the herbs are well suited to grow indoors as well, giving it a beautiful look when kept around your kitchen. Then for your scrambled eggs I present you with Argula where you can mix it by plucking it right from your kitchen. With this system, this plant requires 7 weeks to mature enough to share it. It should be kept in at least 75 degree Fahrenheit so you can keep this at your bright kitchen sunny window. Later I present you my personal best option for this system, Kale. It grows well indoors and the best part is that many pests don't target this plant. This plant takes about 10 weeks to harvest but you can pluck 30% of the leaves after about 6 weeks. Also you do not need to worry about the temperature as it can handle wide range of temperature from 45 to 85 degree Fahrenheit. My last option is peppers. This is a low maintenance plant. There are numerous varieties of peppers or chilies such as naga chili, jalapenos, ghost chili, peri peri and many more. So guys you can grow any of this with this system. These chilies love it. So you need to place it outdoors where they can get direct sunlight for about 6 to 8 hours. Make sure the average temperature is around 30 degrees Celsius. So here's the chart of the best plant to grow with this system. Well you can screenshot this part or comment me your email address so that I can send you this info and any other info regarding hydroponics. So guys I hope you found this video helpful, if yes please like and subscribe to my youtube channel for more such videos.